and I'm present in the world where we model uh, human behavior in the aftermath of a major disaster. Uh, and actually, there are many people who are involved in this project. Uh, the scenario that we model here is detonation of a nuclear device in Washington, D.C. Uh, for modeling, for uh, planning for such an event should not even take into account the physical impact, but also the human behavior. And in reality, human behavior is uh, coupled with the infrastructure systems. For example, in an event like this, people would try to find their families, uh, so they will try to call or gather or move towards their family members, and uh, these actions are actually supported by the infrastructure systems, like a transportation network or cyber communication network. Uh, so <coughs> any availability or damage to this infrastructure systems would then again alter human behavior. So here, rather than modeling just physical impact, we also model human behavior coupled with this infrastructure systems. So how would modeling human behavior change the perspective on planning? It could help align response policies with the survivor's behavior. For example, uh, here we show an initial result uh, that partially restoring communication would have positive impact on health. It could also enable us to ask new questions, like how to help people find their family, or how to place healthcare units optimally. So it not only changes the answers, but also questions that we can answer now. So if you would like to know about this work, uh, stop by in the poster session.